So you could even get more complicated, right? You could do something like this. Um, so when you're typing in a command, there's a couple other ways to do this, but you can essentially specify a list of commands on one line. Everything precarious, like opposed to just writing a script now. But um, if you use the if you use the semicolon, that will mean run this command, and when it's done running, run the next command. So we can do this from time to time. So if I do something like that, followed by something like this, OS is my files isn't very good very long anymore. Let's recall it. <coughs> Okay, so if I do something like this, it's going to print out your OS is Linux, right? Because it's taking the output of the UNAM command, it's saving it to a variable called my OS, and then it's running a second command where echo is just the print command essentially, and bash, and it's printing your OS is, and then it's going to replace this with whatever the value of this variable is. Make sense? You can do math both on variables and directly. So I could call, let's make a variable, call it my sum. To do math in bash, you actually need to use a second set of quotation marks. And now whatever you put inside here is going to be interpreted as an integer based mathematical expression. So if we do like 3 plus 4, and now if we echo my sum, it's going to be equal to 7, right? If we do 3 divided by 4, now echo it, it's going to be zero, so this is all integer math. Um, I don't think Bash can do floating point math. Let's see if I'm wrong. No. Yep. So you're stuck with integers in Bash. If you want to do floating point, you're going to need a more advanced programming language. Uh, but essentially, even just doing math like this can be pretty handy a lot of the time. Um, so, Questions on, and, and if we wanted to echo this directly too, we could do that. Right? We don't have to save it to a variable. But whenever you're doing math, you're going to use a construct like this. So there's a command called count. So we could do something like, um, so, no, that's a little complicated. So let's, uh, we're going to list all the files in my current directory. We're going to pipe that out with the count. That by itself. Okay. We're going to pipe that to a, we'll use word count because I don't have a pure count command installed. So what word count does is it's going to print out three numbers for me. The first number is going to be the number of lines. The second number is the number of words, I think. And then the third number is the number of characters. Um, we just want. You can actually tell it that all I want is print the new line count by giving it the dash l command. So if I do w dash l, okay. So now it's just going to output eight, right? It's going to output the number of files in this directory. I want to take this and we're going to save it to a variable. So we're going to wrap it, and our quotations on our number sign. We'll call the variable auto count. You with me? Then we are going to go ahead and we will echo. Well, let's do some math on it. So let's create another variable called half files. So we're going to figure out half the number of files. We're going to set that equal to, we need double. We're going to do math. I hope this works. Um, and we're going to take file count, and we're going to divide it by two. OK? Then we're going to finally, we're going to output the result of that. We're going to say half the number of files is good. And it works, right? So I'm using piping to take the output one command, count it, I'm saving that to a variable. I'm using a list of commands where I take one variable and use it to perform some math. And then finally, I'm using echo to basically print out a sentence with the result of the mathematical operation I did. Make sense? All right. 